Was Senator Martha McSally correct when she said 90% of asylum cases are not legitimate? Let's fact check that. And have their asylum case heard, many of which, more than 90%, are not legitimate asylum cases, and then we could actually return the individuals. That would stop that pull factor. Hi, I'm Nicole Ludden, AC Central's new fact checker. I'll be chasing down facts and taking a closer look at claims made about important issues. Now let's take a look at McSally's claim. As a record-setting number of migrants are entering the United States every month, the number of those seeking asylum is growing as well. When migrants arrive in the United States, they can apply for asylum if they establish that they face persecution in their home country. McSally says 90% of these cases aren't legitimate, but there are some issues with the data she provides. First, it only includes three countries, and second, it doesn't take into account all asylum applications. In her TV interview from May, McSally discussed the process of seeking asylum in the U.S. while claiming the majority of asylum cases aren't legitimate. McSally's office backed up her claim by citing data from the Federal Register. The Register says only 9% of some asylum seekers from Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador are actually granted asylum by a judge. McSally reasons that other nearly 90% are not legitimate asylum cases. This is not accurate. Although many migrants come from Central America, the entire population of those seeking asylum is not represented by these three countries alone. In addition, the data she cited only includes asylum seekers who received a credible fear referral from an immigration officer, but migrants may be granted asylum without one. Migrants who are granted what is known as affirmative asylum already established credible fear and don't need a referral. Asylum was granted to them by an immigration officer. Migrants who receive credible fear referrals are claiming asylum defensively, that is, as a defense against removal from the U.S. Those cases are decided by a judge, and in 2018, 41% of asylum cases were denied. 21% were granted, and the remaining 38% fell into miscellaneous categories, according to the Congressional Research Service. These numbers are far below McSally's claim. Even more, they're still not representative of the entire population of asylum seekers, especially those who never go to an immigration court in the first place. Bottom line, many people are granted asylum without going through an immigration court at all. That's why using data from these courts to show how many asylum cases are granted is problematic. We find McSally's claim misleading and give it zero stars. For a closer look, read our full analysis at azcentral.com. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Migrants who receive credible fear referrals are claiming asylum. <laughs> so close. In addition, the data she cited only includes asylum seekers who received. Oh. <laughs> and second, it doesn't take into account asylum applications. Oh, I missed a word. All asylum applications. <laughs>